Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It is finally time for that video a number of you have been asking for. Today I am going to be reviewing and swatching the brand new Pat McGrath Idols Single Shadows. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these, see how I got this look, and also see the swatches of the entire range, then just keep watching. So recently, Pat McGrath released 17 single eyeshadows to her collection. They are called the Idols Shadows. They are individual pans of eyeshadows, obviously. So you can get them right now on the Pat McGrath website. That is where I got mine. Online, there is a really long tongue-twisting description, as all of hers are. But basically, she says they are a divine array of sinfully smooth pigments, tempting textures, and sublimely saturated to transcend the spectrum, tease and tempt in tantalizing textures. So let me paraphrase here. She released single shadows in multiple textures that are glittery and different and unique and smooth and pigmented and all of the above, everything you want an eyeshadow to be. <laughs> so like I said, she came out with 17 shades. They come in at three finishes, shimmer, metallic, and matte. If you were looking for some of those super fine glitter formulas that she has in her 10 pan palettes, Unfortunately, you're not going to get any in any of these, which I was a little bit disappointed by, but I will get into that in a second. Just wait. So when they come in the mail, oh my gosh, it is a huge mess. My box just exploded of little black papers that one of you guys said looked like sea urchins, but literally it made a giant mess. So if you order this before you even open the box, like put a trash bag, get a trash bag, okay? And be prepared to clean up a mess, especially when you're digging through trying to find your shadows. So the shadows are going to come in a gold bag with gold sequins, just like all of her other products, but they're tiny little individual bag for each individual shadow that you order. I like the idea that they come packaged in their own single thing. Very wasteful. Um, it would have been less annoying if all of them were packed into one big gold bag that you could just dig for, but no, you had to individually cut every bag to grab your shadow and just literally you just make the most giant mess in the world trying to open these if you order more than one. But yeah, I love the Pat McGrath packaging. I love those gold sequins. It really is part of the experience. The price of these is $25. $25 each. I have to say right away with the packaging, I like that it's clear. I like that you can see the color. Some people don't like that. Um, I think for Pat McGrath Labs, for her brand, I would have definitely expected something a little bit more <laughs> or a lot more luxurious in packaging because this just is so simple for her brand. $25 for a single shadow from Pat McGrath Labs. I definitely was expecting a lot more in the packaging. It's very, very functional and practical though. So from that standpoint, I do really like this. It is a magnetic clasp. You can see the color and I mean it feels very very sturdy for being what it is. Like it is nice packaging. It's just it's not her brand you know uh, but very functional so for that reason I, I do like it. It's just what I was expecting. So okay. we are going to start with complete facts. I had to do a lot of research for this for you guys. Like Detective Morgan was out. I spent the last two days figuring all this stuff out. I'm not a mathematician. If any information is not correct, please don't come at me. This is my pre-apology now. I love Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath Labs is my favorite brand in the world. I've rarely said anything bad about her brand because she just comes out with quality things. Um, just as a consumer, I think you guys would really appreciate this. If I look down, I did write down a lot of notes because I didn't want to miss anything for you guys. So each idol is made in the United States. Now I've been following where she gets her products made. I think it's very interesting interesting in general to see what country products are made in. Each of her six pan palettes are made in the USA and each of her 10 pan palettes are made in Italy. Her 10 pan palettes are my favorite because in particular there is a glitter formula that is so unique to her line. There's just so much glitter and duochrome in those shades. If you're a Pat McGrath fan, you know what I'm talking about. I find that that formula is only made in Italy so far by what she's released. And the eye dolls do not include any glitter formulas because if what I believe is true, they are made in the USA and not Italy, so it was not capable to get that formula in a single pan. No glitter formula. I think that's only made in Italy. Everything else is made in the USA. So, like I said, each of these is $25 each. I did divide the prices up for each of her other palettes. The price for the 10 pan palettes divides up to be about $12.50 per pan, which is about half the price of a full-size one. 
and the price per pan for the six pan palette divides out to be about nine dollars and seventeen cents so just something i want you to think about some of the colors in this line come from the six pan palette so you're going to pay nine dollars and seventeen cents per pan to get the same color for $25. And let's just not forget that these are $55. So if you get two of these, you just bought yourself six shades from Pat McGrath. But that's not all. I brought out a ruler because I thought these looked a little bit smaller than what I was used to seeing and I just wanted to make sure. So I measured the idols to be about an inch in diameter, whereas the diameter in the six pan palettes were about 1.25 inches in diameter. So that's a whole quarter inch bigger right there. The singles weigh 1.1 grams, whereas these weigh 2 grams per pan. So 1.1 versus 2, this is about twice as heavy. Something that I would like to know is that there is a weight variation between the pans in the palettes made in Italy and the palettes made in the United States, but these do have the same pan size, so the different formula, I believe, is what caused the different weight variation. So I don't know if that's what happened between this and this, but there there are repeats in here and so unless it's a different formula I feel like there shouldn't be a weight variation unless you're literally getting less product like I said I don't know I only got the numbers I can only make assumptions you're spending $25 for one single eyeshadow for what seems to be seemingly less product pretty big chunk of less product to be quite honest so if you were to purchase say this six pan palette which I believe has two to three shadows that are already in the single line if you buy those two you're spending $50 at that point you might as well have bought the whole palette for $55 same goes for the decadence palette which has three colors that are in the single eyeshadow line you might as well just go for the gusto and buy the entire palette what I will say though about the convenience of these is that you can really travel with Pat McGrath shadows now I don't know about you but I refuse to travel with my big Pat palettes because uh, they are so expensive the last thing I want them to do is break so if you're looking for a way to get her formula to be Portable. This is a great way to do it. They are so compact. Uh, they don't feel like they're going to break because this packaging is pretty sturdy. But to be honest, that is the only reason where this has any sort of value, if I'm being honest. That being said, the shades in the line are gorgeous. Now, 11 of the shades that she came out with are already in her previous palette. That was good news for me because I was not going to purchase 17 individual eyeshadows for $25 each. Six of them are brand new to the line and are not found in any palette. So I did pick those six up to show you guys and then I did go through and swatch the colors from the other palettes to bring them to you guys so you can see the whole collection. So really fast though, I do want to talk about the single shadows that are brand new. So of her new shadows, you are getting two mattes and four metallic finish eyeshadows. The two mattes that you have here, um, you have a beautiful transition shade in a beautiful kind of warm red shade. I have to say these blend like a dream. I used these in a look I did yesterday and I used these in the look I did today. I swear, three little swipes and this blends itself out. It is these are such a good formula, as Pat eyeshadows usually are. I mean, they're the best formula in the world. I'm not gonna lie. So those mattes are spectacular. My particular favorite metallic that we have here is Rose Venus. So if you were to order one shade, uh, this one I would have to recommend to you. It is my favorite. It is a beautiful rose shade, great for every day. That is the color that I used in this first look. We also have the shade Corrupt Copper, which is all over my lid, and you will see that in a tutorial momentarily. We have the Crimson Fire, which was used in that first look that I just showed you. Super duper beautiful. So I personally wouldn't say you need to run out and get it, but it is a gorgeous shade. And then this one was the one that I was most excited about. This is Synthetica. Oh my gosh, this over either a purple or a black base is going to be stunning. This is the only shade that I have not yet gotten a chance to wear on my eyes, so I don't want to speak on it. But this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to put this all over my eyes. So this one I also would is another unique one that I would recommend. The other shades I feel are quite dupable. But honestly though, the other shades are such good quality that it's okay. But everything I said about the value aside, these are quality. Honestly, I would go as far as to say that these might be an itty bitty bitty bit better than what I already have from Pat. Like something about these seems... Almost better, more blendable, more pigmented, more creamy. 
I don't, this batch of single shadows that I purchased today, they just seem really good. I don't know. Quality is there. Maybe that's why the value it seems off. I don't know, but so, so good quality. I cannot. Mm. So for this look, I started off with the shade Statuesque and I used kind of a more pointy blending brush to create this eye shape. And this was going to start off as my transition color. The next color that I used is Burnished Honey, and I used an even more precise brush to really create the shape around my eyes. And I also put this color underneath my lower lash line. And literally, this look is so simple. To finish off, I used the shade Corrupt Copper basically everywhere, and yeah, I really like this shade too. I also would recommend the shade. This shade is actually quite unique. It has like this pumpkin orange tone to it that I don't have a lot of. So this is another shade that might be worth your while. So like I said, besides Synthetica, I've used all of these on my eyes. They are awesome. So now it is time to move on to the swatches. I'm going to be going over what is already in the line in what palette and swatch them all for you so you can take a look to see either what you already have or what you want to purchase. So obviously this is just a guide for you to hopefully help you out if you wanna pick up any of these shades. So the shades that you see right here are all of the new shades that you cannot get in her regular palette. So the first shade that we have is Statuesque, which is described as a suede neutral taupe. Then we have Burnished Honey, which is a mahogany suede. Then we have Crimson Fire, which is described as a red shimmer. Then we have Corrupt Copper, which is described as a bright copper. We have Rose Venus, which is described as a pink shimmer. And then Synthetica, which is described as a glittering ultraviolet. It has kind of a black base and a lot of shimmers. But these are all of the new shades, and as you can see, they swatch so beautifully. I am in love. So right here are the shades from the Mothership for Decadence palette, which is no longer available. And there are three shades from this limited edition palette that are included in this collection. So we have Divine Mink, which is a gray-brown sheen. Then we have Lapis Luxury, which is a multi-dimensional turquoise. And then finally, Gold Standard, which is a luminous 24K gold. So these first two are a metallic finish, and the last one is a shimmer finish, but they all seem pretty metallic if you ask me. So these next swatches are from the Subliminal Platinum Bronze palette, which is one of her mini palettes. So literally half of that palette is right on my arm right here. So the first shade that we have is Deep Velvet, which is a deep plum brown suede. You have Sextrovert, which is a gleaming metallic bronze. And then finally, you have Telepathic Taupe, which is a glittering gray. So these are the three from the Subliminal Platinum Bronze palette. So this is the only shade from the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette, which came out around the winter fall time this year. This is also one of her mini palettes. And this is the shade Celestial. It is like kind of a golden champagne color. Very, very reflective. So right here are the two shades from the Subliminal Dark Star palette. Another palette from this holiday. So the first shade that we have here is Dark Matter, which is an onyx sheen. Kind of the black shade of the family. This was also in the new Eye Ecstasy kit that I just reviewed in that mini palette. So this is a repeated shade for the third time. And then we have the shade Entraptured, which is a gleaming antique gold. Okay, so here we have the last two from the entire range. This is from the Subversive La Vie and Rose. And in it, we have Purple Rain, which is a vivid purple sheen. Ugh, such a gorgeous purple. And then we have Pale Fire, which is a coral pink duochrome. So for the last bit of swatching, I did just want to show you all 17 of the shades together so you can see them all as a collection. So the top bit on my arm, these are the new shades that aren't in the collection already. And then the bottom row over here are colors that were organized just as they were and presented to you in that palette order, we have our subversive going all the way down to La Vie and Rose. So just so you can see all of the shades together so that you can compare them, feel free to pause at any moment if you would like to stare at the shades longer. That's kind of how I like to do it. All right. I hope you guys found these swatches helpful. All right, so that about does it for this video. I really hope you found this helpful and that it, the way I laid everything out to you made sense. I mean, overall, with all of Pat McGrath Labs products, 
you are definitely getting quality the best of the best the best out there on the market i stand by that statement so for that you won't be disappointed when you purchase these it's just a matter of value and if it's worth it to you if you are relying solely on my opinion just purchase the six pan palettes at the end of the day this is a 20 times better value if you ask me and i don't regret purchasing these single shadows i like being a reference for you guys and helping you out and there are some gorgeous shades in these but as always i hope you guys found this video helpful. I love Pemograph and I really do like the shadows that I did purchase. They are gorgeous. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If you looked into this, what you picked up, if you love it. I hope you decide to subscribe to my channel after watching this video if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.